Brown Band with Tracy and Mike in the morning. I'm a little surprised you can uh, form words oh right now my. because when David Nail walked in studio, uh, well, what did he do, Tracy? The first, David Nail is here. Why don't yeah, you tell hey everybody the first thing you did? The first thing that I did was run around the soundboard and check out Tracy's shoes. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I mean, they are some kind of special. Thank you. The first Thank thing, you. the first thing though that I want to talk about while we're here is. Is is my impersonator over here with the voice? The whole time, oh, the whole time I'm, I'm riding here, listening to the show, and I look over at Don Joe from the record. And I'm like, do I sound like that? Really? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> hey, 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 Tracy. <laughs> Oh my good lord, it sounds like John Wayne from like 62. <laughs> so, uh, a little embarrassing, you heard me practicing for my interview with you. I thought I would be so professional and prepared when you got here. And no, like, you oh, didn't. Yeah, yeah, really, really. You know what? Yeah, no, really. Yeah, I plan on hitting on you five seconds after you walked in the door. We, What's we, up? we pulled out of uh, Milwaukee this morning, I guess about an hour ago, and uh, I was on Twitter just messing around, reading articles, and and uh, for, on the newspapers and stuff back in Nashville and all of a sudden I heard my name and of course my ears perked up mm -hmm. and little did I know we were already picking up the station and, and so we listened to it the rest of the way in and cool yeah it's uh were we funny I'm, I'm very yeah <laughs> very it was, it, you know you were talking about me so of course it was entertaining yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> your favorite topic Tracy's favorite topic is you uh, yeah well, I talked I, about you a little bit today I appreciate it y'all have been very kind uh you know I got a film crew here filming just kind of I guess getting a day in the life of uh what we do every day and, and we normally don't come to radio stations every morning but um he caught me just as we were pulling in. Y'all were kind of at the mecca of the David Nell conversation. I was like, I love Mass and Boy. This place is great, man. You know, anytime I get depressed or feel down, I'm just going to come up into Madison and just turn on the radio. Well, it's That'd very awesome. true, like, with uh, with what I said to you. You are our very first interview, by the way, on our show. Our very first day I here. You really got, we announced your show. And it's like, I was telling Mike, I'm like, I love David Nail. Because, like I said, like, um, like, you have this, this theory in your career where you just record really good songs. It's you simple. know, I, I, it is really simple. I, I remember I was really stressed out over the course of making my first record, and I went in, uh, into Tower Records when there were still Tower, Tower Records, and and bought this like 25 or 25th anniversary Thriller album, and it had all this commentary of, jeez, uh, what's the guy's name, uh, the famous producer, Michael Jackson. Well, Michael Jackson, I'm just <laughs> and God, he played trumpet. He was in Ray. Quincy, Quincy Jones, yeah, yeah. Quincy Jones, yeah. and it had all this commentary, and it was talking about how um, when they made that record, uh, Michael was really stressed out about, you know, this is really out there, you know, the Thriller and the Beat It and the Billy Jean was really kind of new for that time, and and they were stressed if it, it, you know if the, if the public was going to feed off of it, and Quincy Jones said that they just kind of sat there one day and they said, well, do you like it? Yeah. He was like, yeah, and he goes, well, do you like it? And he was like, yeah, and he goes. Well, let's just trust that we like good music and we have good taste, and and that good you know good music will prevail in the end. And so I, I kind of try to just use that that philosophy to you know for the rest of my career is you know if I like a song, and I feel like it speaks to me, then hopefully there's a good chance that it will to We're everyone fun. else. Yeah. We've talked about this for a couple of weeks. I I, I love vocals, and and you have uh, an incredible voice. We posted <coughs> your cover at Gavin DeGraw. I just heard it. It's so awesome. It's the first time I heard it on the radio. Oh, so really? Pretty good. Beautiful. I don't even sound. know how. Was it? Was I don't know how technically y'all did that, but it was. We have it right good. here. Was it because I was doing background vocals with it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely it? did. You know, there was a little. I added uh, some. Of Celine Dion in yeah. your voice. Yeah, yeah. I can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear that. <laughs> and and Jewel. Jewel. Right. And Jewel, right. <laughs> Both of them together. Yeah, there you go. Give Mike his time here. David Nail in studio 96.3 Star Country. Come back next.